Legends gamers, it is Put McGee here, back with another Magic video, and I'm going to be playing through a sealed event here with the deck that I put together, and I'm not putting together the deck in the video. If you want to see me do that, actually, uh, there should be a card popping up right about now to uh, link you to that video if you want to um, see me open the packs and walk through building of this deck. And um, in this video, I'm not actually going to talk about every card in the deck. If you want to see all that, you can go to the other one, but just know that we are doing Abzan enchantments, so we've got a lot of creatures and enchantments that hopefully are synergizing together, but we also just have some bombs like Nightmare Shepherd, Nyx Lotus, and Nyx Bloom Ancient kind of thrown in here um, to try to make this deck work. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit sus, I'm a little bit sus about this, uh, how it's actually going to play out. So let's go into it. I haven't played any games with this yet, so we're going to go into it, see if we uh, can do okay. And uh, if we need to make maybe some changes after game one or two, um, after we see it perform, um, I think the biggest issue is that we're playing three colors and uh, don't have any dual lands because those are uh, a little hard to come by in this set. Uh, we do have a little bit of mana fixing with um, uh, Nyx, Lotus, Nyx Lotus and then whatever the creature is. But we do have one mana creature um, that does mana of any color, so that's actually going to be very helpful. Um, but yeah, here we go. Let's see. Ooh, ooh, also, perfect perfect start with the lands. It's good. So we can get uh, Siona down early. Oh, this is a really, really nice combo to, to, to get off early. So Siona, Captain of the Pileus. Um, um, if you don't know what she says, uh, you probably can't see her face because mine is blocking it. But uh, when she enters the battlefield, you're going to... Um, ooh, that's an interesting start. Um... We can reveal an aura card from among the top uh, seven cards of our deck and put it into our hand, and then we put the rest of those in the bottom. And whenever an aura card or an aura we control becomes attached to a creature we control, um, we create a 1-1 one, one, um, token. So they are off to a quick start. This is, ooh, ah, uh, e. Not great. It looks like they're trying to do something a little bit similar, maybe. 4-1 um, Chimera. That's very, very scary. Um, we're gonna go Siona. Um, I'm gonna have to take a ton of damage right now um, Okay, that's actually super nice um, But it looks like we're gonna take some damage here because I don't really want to block uh, the loathsome chimera with Siona right here And if they have removal for Siona, we're pretty much dead. I think honestly like if they can kill Siona, we're gonna die That's just how it, that's just how it's looking folks. I mean we've got like we we have two auras which will be nice of course to put on Siona, but yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's discard. I'm going to discard Archon of the Falling Stars. And I definitely want to keep you. Definitely want to keep you. Honestly, I might get rid of Nyx Lotus here. Though, I, if I'm going to ever be able to play Nyx Blue Mansion, I got to have Nyx Lotus. So I think I'm just going to dump Nyx Blue Mansion because we're probably never going to be able to play that. Um, but the good news is, so here's the deal. If we block Grim Physician, Siona will die. If I block this, they both die, um, but they also get kind of two for one, but they gain a bunch of life. So I've got to block that. I can't take this much damage right here. Actually, no. See, we, we can't though. Because, let's see, we would go to 12, 10, we go to 9, I can put that on, gain life link, go up to 11, and then we would still be taking um, 5, 7, so I'd be down to 4 after the next turn. That's actually doable, so I'm going to not block. That might seem stupid, but I'm not blocking for now. Only because I have Aspect of Lamprey, um, which gives me a couple of things. Oh, that's really interesting. That is really interesting. Okay, um, so we're going to hold on to those. I'm going to go Aspect of Lamprey first. We will uh, put it on her. We create a 1-1, one, one, which is actually going to be very helpful because it's a blocker, and they have to discard both of those. And then we can attack and gain two life. Okay, so good play. I'm glad I didn't block because now we have... Um, we can also use Warbriar Blessing as removal uh, in a moment. Uh, so we'll go ahead and... Yeah, I'm going to block that. So we don't take a bunch of damage. Um, of course, it can escape, but they're going to have to get more cards into their graveyard before they can do that. Oh, wait. No, actually, they can. They can do it now. Oh, that's that sucks. They can do it right now. Ooh. Haha. <laughs> Whoopsie. 
Yeah, so they exile that, but we, well, okay, so we can, we will exile you now. Um, we're going to go ahead and exile that so we don't die next turn, and then I'll attack, gain two, go up to ten. We're still going to lose three, but that's fine. We've got quite a bit in our hand that we can work with. Just kidding, not anymore. Not anymore. That was a really good top deck for them because I think we just lose now? See, if we play Nyx Lotus, we don't have devotion to anything, so we just die. Um, so I'm gonna pass. I can kill uh, Ephemia the Cacophony <laughs> um, because it's an enchantment creature. I can destroy it. So we will do that, which is why I drafted that card, it's important. Yikes, uh, now we'll go ahead and play Nyx Lotus so that next turn, assuming we play some kind of creature, we have a lot of creatures in this deck, it's quite annoying that we are just getting pelted down right now. Archon of Falling Stars, thank you very, very much. That's great, because um, if they kill it, we can return an enchantment. Uh, Can't block. Escape to two plus one. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hmm. <laughs> Let's think about this. Um. Return a permanent card. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna do this. We're gonna go. No, no, no. We want to tap, tap. Bump, bump like that so that we can play um, Siona again. So we put the top two, and then we're going to return Siona, which we can now play. Dang, that sucks. Um, and I'm not gonna attack because I need to hold blockers or we're in danger of dying. <laughs> Um, yeah, I've got to hold a blocker that I want to block Underworld Charger with. I'm a little bit worried they have removal. Even if they remove, if they kill Archon of Falling Stars, we get to return an enchantment card to the battlefield, which will be um, Aspect of Lamprey, assuming, probably. Or no, it'll be Nyx Bloom Ancient. That would be a freaking sick play. <laughs> that would be awesome. Oh man, that would be great. Ooh. Nice. They forgot to equip that. They um, they just made a big boo-boo. That was a big old, big old boo-boo. So we'll do this. We'll do that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And we have extra green to spend on Warbriar Blessing. And then we get to fight Underworld Charger. Uh, which means I can't attack with Underworld Charger this turn. Um, but yes I can. So we can go, we can escape this, target you, we'll just exile that, and that, because we have no way of getting those back. Wait, what? Oh, plus two minus one. Oh, I almost messed up bad. I thought that was plus two plus one. That's terrible. Um, <laughs> that was horrible. Okay, I'm actually gonna hold the land, um, just because I want to bluff a spell, and that's, that's all. That's the only reason. Um, we're about to get brutally two for one. Nice. Okay. Hmm. Let's 
just do that. Oh my, the things I can do. Oh, I can do some crazy stuff. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be awesome. Okay, here's what I can do. First of all, what I'm gonna do is attack with both of these. And transcend an envoy, it has flying. Um, that doesn't have reach, right? Okay, it's gonna be able to escape. Which sucks. Um, that's kind of okay. I'm assuming they're gonna trade, they're gonna take this trade right here. Um, yep. And then, so what I was thinking I can do, first of all, I can get Mogus' favor back, which is great. Um, but what I can do is sacrifice Archon of Falling Stars to Soul Reaper of Mogus and return Nyx Bloom Ancient um, from the graveyard to the battlefield, which is sick. By the way, that's really awesome. <laughs> Uh, because that'll mean my Nyx Bloom Ancient will, or Nyx, Nyx Lotus will tap for like a million mana. Not that I even need it right now, though. That's that's kind of the problem. Is that I don't need that much mana. Um, all I'm going to do is I'll sacrifice a token to draw a card. We're just getting lands, baby. Lands are all we need. That's it. That's all we need. We'll uh, put that on Transcendent Envoy. It can't be blocked right now. We'll exile you and um, you. I'm gonna hold Archon of Falling Stars as a blocker for uh, for Voracious Typhon. We gotta be we gotta be really careful um, about what happens here because if if we accidentally uh, overcommit and they have a way to give Voracious Typhon Trample, we will die. I will be dead. Um, so, truck, please, 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 please. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, baby. Nyx Bloom Ancient on the field. That's what's up. Ooh, 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 baby. Yeah, we'll just put it on. It doesn't really make a whole big bean of difference, but we're going to do that anyway. Oh, okay. So here's here's the bad news. If I attack with Nyx Bloom Ancient, they'll block with Grim Physician, and Grim Physician will kill Transcendent Envoy. And that's just no good. Um, but it's like... It's kind of fine. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... Attack, 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 hold the rest. Um, they're gonna, I'm assuming they're blocking uh, Soul Reaper of Mogus, actually, with Grim Physician. Grim Physician will die, target Transcendent Envoy. They've got something here, and I don't like that. Destroy target enchantment. No, I don't want to spend two black to do that. I just... No, let me... Can you let me spend... The mana I want to spend on that? There we go. There we go. There we go. Thank you. We're going to sack you. Draw a card. Resolve that. 
Um, great, that's great, that's great. Um, pay two, yeah, we go boop, boop. I tapped too many lands, but this is fine because it doesn't matter because we have a lot of mana left to give. Resolve that, draw some more cards. Great. Um, I'll trigger you again. Boom. Yeah, auto pay is fine. We'll sack you. And resolve and lose our mana there, which is okay. It will target Transcendent Envoy. I can add two black and do boop, boop. I'm gonna make an opponent sacrifice a creature. And I don't have enough mana to do that, so we resolve that. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Pretty wild turn. A pretty wild turn. I wasted a bunch of mana on accident, but that's fine. Um, I overtapped because I didn't know what the game was going to do. Sacrifice a creature each opponent loses one life and give one life. Yikes. We got to be careful with that. We put that on Soul Reaper, uh, Exile. Freak's Libation and uh, Rise to Glory, which suck. Actually, just in case we have some way of getting that back, I'm going to keep Rise to Glory in the graveyard. We still have 11 cards in our library that we haven't seen yet. So we just have to kind of outpace them and make sure they can't kill us um, with Lampad of Death's Vigil. No, stop. Just do that. <clears throat> okay, good. They drew another land, which means nothing happens. Um... We'll sack the token again, sacrifice you to draw a card. We got to make sure we don't mill ourselves, but we're, we're not really that close to milling ourselves. Ooh. Uh, we can't actually play that because that will bring back, let them bring back uh, Voracious Typhon. So that's terrible. Uh, do I have an enchantment card that I really want to play? Um, let's find out. Let's find out. What are you doing, Chief? You you can sacrifice that creature? Okay. We go Dawn Evangel, which is... Oh, Nightmare Shepherd is the play, right? Yeah, Nightmare Shepherd is the play. Hello. Greetings. Okay, so now we've got Nightmare Shepherd, and now we can just attack. And we win the game next turn almost no matter what happens. Um, of course, they could play, like, they could top deck something really good, um, and potentially, yeah, stop me, but... So now they're going to sack itself. Um, which will give them there, there still will not be enough cards in the graveyard for them to escape Voracious Typhon so I think we're going to be fine that was a turn where I should have attacked with Siona um, okay that's game that's game GG! The deck worked a little bit. Uh, scary game early on. Scary game because we didn't have a play until turn 3. And even after that we were struggling. But we eventually got it back with a little bit of lifelink and a little bit of uh, disruption. So let's, uh, yeah, 
Uh, let's keep going. Hmm. See if we can get some more wins here, guys and gals. Apparently, no one's playing sealed right now because I can't find a game. Also, I think I said this already, but I'm a little bit loopy because I uh, took some cold medicine earlier. And if you see like my eyes watering uh, or something, don't be alarmed. Um, it's probably because I have a cold. It does happen. Uh, I said not a keepable hand, unfortunately. So we mulligan. That's good. And we'll... I think we're gonna... Honestly, Archon of Falling Stars is better for us than Nyx Blue Mansion in most scenarios. So we're gonna put Nyx Blue Mansion on the bottom for now. Of course, if we get Idyllic Tutor, we can tutor that up because it is an enchantment. Um, Eidolon of Philosophy. Yikes. Um, we'll show green first. Doesn't make much difference because we probably won't have a play until turn three at least. Um, of course, next turn we could destroy Eidolon Philosophy, but there's not much point to do that. It's not a big threat right now. I'm liking this map. I'm liking this this uh, this map a lot. Okay, that's nice. Um, so we do have Acolyte of Affliction, which is really solid. Um, not the, not the greatest first play of the game. Oh lord. Um, Jeez. Okay, well, let's, that, let's, yeah, okay. That's a thing you can get. Yeah, you can definitely, that, that can happen. Um, we're probably going to want to exile that uh, before it can escape, but. So, it's four mana, exile five other cards from your graveyard. Okay, I'm not going to exile it right now. There's not a whole lot of reason to do so. Um, we're not like. I don't feel like we need to rush and do that. Um, they're not like we're not in danger of them exiling it or um, escaping it right away. So they're also playing three colors. Don't have a turn four play, even though they have five mana or they haven't played anything yet, which they definitely might. Definitely might have something here. Are you kidding me? You've got Ashiok Nightmare Muse and. Euro Titan of Nature's Wrath. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. This one, we, just, we, we might lose this one. Playing Ashiok uh, on turn four. Pretty nasty. Pretty nasty play. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Sick, dude. So we're gonna go in. Uh, we're gonna go in blind with Acolyte of Affliction. See if we can put a permanent. Okay, return. Um, Nightmare Shepherd definitely, so it can't get exiled. We'll put that back in our hand. We we don't have we don't have removal for this. Uh, we just don't. We're, we can't kill it essentially. So it can just keep pumping out. Um, yeah, pumping out Nightmare tokens until I die so that's cool awesome 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 okay we can't play Nightmare Shepherd or Archon yet, but we can go Elysian Karyatid. Great. They took two of my best cards away. That's cool. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to have to kill Witness of Tomorrow. Oh, man. That was... That was loud. Dang. Because we're in a bad position. We're in a very bad position right now. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. 
I guess we don't have to kill a uh, witness of tomorrow's with return to nature because we can block it with Archon of Falling Stars, and Archon of Falling Stars is pretty much it's like the best uh, chance we have of killing Ashiok is just attacking with it. Nice. He's dead. So that's a that's a good enchantment. That's pretty good. Not attacking with Witness of Tomorrows, that's strange. I mean, yeah, this game is essentially over. Um, probably going to end up conceding early, so we can move on um, from this horrible loss that we're taking right now. Though I am definitely interested to see what other bombs they've got. If they, uh, they've got Ashiok and uh, Euro, Uro. Who knows what they got in there? Who... Freaking knows, dude. Oh. So now they can actually ult uh, Ashiok. Look at this. Look at this. This is brutal. We'll go ahead and exile that. Sick. Um, that actually does give us Nightmare Shepherd, which is really nice. Um, but I don't think it's going to be enough, because they can just... Yeah, they can cast my spells now, and destroy me. So they can cast uh, Aspect of Lamprey, probably Risen to Glory. Is it without paying mana cost? Yeah, without paying the mana cost. That's insane. Good game. I'm going to let them do it. Um, see what they decide to do here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, I mean, at least I exiled Euro before they could um, return it to the battlefield. With, I guess they couldn't really use Risen to Glory, uh, Rise to Glory. I mean, because really strange choice, really strange choice. I still lose. I think they're actually going to try to mill me. Which is pretty wild. And yeah, I mean, we, they can either kill me with damage or mill me out. Doesn't matter. They're going to win. So, um... Let's do that. I still can't kill Ashiok, so that's... I'm still gonna concede. Go ahead and concede. I think I lose. I lose either next turn or the next. Essentially. Yep. 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 Up, 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 up. Okay, that happens. That's fine. I feel. I still feel pretty confident in the deck. The problem is we haven't drawn any of our smaller creatures early enough to really make much difference. Like we definitely we have small creatures to play. Um, and we have Omen of the Hunt, which is great. This is this is a wonderful, wonderful hand. Super good. Oh, yeah. Question, though, is what do we start with? I mean, I feel like Omen of the Hunt feels kind of like this, the play to start with, to kind of ramp us a little bit. Um... But also, Siona is a is a good start, uh, so that we can immediately start fishing for stuff. Yeah, Warbriar Blessing is great. We also have Mogus' Favor, which these kind of complement each other because it's plus two minus one, and this is a plus zero plus two. Finding the Titans. Okay. So they'll exile up to two target cards from graveyards for each... Okay, so we want to go ahead and Acolyte of Affliction. And then put Archon of Falling Stars back in our hand. And just attack them for two. 
And Acolyte of Affliction is actually a better target for Mogus's favor than uh, than Siona is because it makes her too squishy. Okay, so they exiled my Binding of the Titans, which is fine. I haven't actually played that card yet. That's cool. That's cool. Return target creature from the battlefield. So they're going to be able to return uh, this guy or this guy to their to the battlefield. Traveler's amulet. Interesting. Ooh, that's nice. I wonder if, uh, huh. I wonder if they have instant speed removal. It makes me, okay, I'm not going to play Mogus's favor yet. I'm just going to go to combat first. Um, attack for five here on this turn. <laughs> Either they're going to sack Traveler's Amulet here. Oh, yeah, okay. That's my fault. Um, so now we can play Elysian Karyotid. Uh, yep, we'll play Elysian Karyotid now. So that we're not punished for playing either of these if they have uh, Sorcery Speed Removal. So they get to return, I'm assuming, Enemy of Enlightenment. No, they return Chainweb Arachnir. That's interesting. Here's the battlefield. It deals damage equal to its power to target a creature with flying and opponent controls, which I do not have. And good thing, too. Good thing. Sorry, what's that? What is that? Search your library for a card, put it in your graveyard, then shuffle your library. Suppose you cast from your graveyard, it costs one less to cast. Oh my gosh. How have I not seen this card? That seems kind of good. Seems like really good. And it has lifelink? Man, this thing is statted up. Okay, uh, well, we'll go... Final Death. Yep, Final Death. Exiled, baby. Then we can go Mogus' favor onto Acolyte of Affliction. And then deal a bunch of damage. So they really need, obviously they could pr definitely, like, it wouldn't be too hard to have single target removal for Acolyte of Affliction, which would be a bummer, of course. Um, but they really need, like, a board wipe, essentially. Uh, like, if they just have a final death. Oh, what is this? Blight Breath Ketobulus. Until end of turn, we're your devotion to black. Ooh. Okay. Oh, nice. That's nice. Um, what do I want, though? So we want to do this first. Oh, yeah, we kill him, though. We kill him. So, But we'll do this first just to flex, and then I'll go Warbriar Blessing on Acolyte of Affliction. It fights you. We gain two life, and then we win. We win the game. Yeah! It's that easy. Just not let your opponent uh, interact with your stuff, and then kill them. <laughs> so we're 2-1 right now, which is not ideal, but it, uh, it's a thing. It's something. Uh, hopefully we can snag another win or so before, <laughs> before we get knocked out. Nice socks. Thanks, dude. Ah, ooh, this is not good. Uh, we'll mulligan this hand. Keep... I want to say it's a keeper, but it's also, like, we don't have a green mana source, and we go first, and we have all these, like, so much stuff that relies on green. Um, do we mulligan to five if we go first? That seems so bad. So, the thing is, like, we have to get green to, in order to play this deck. Like, we have to draw green, and if we don't, we're just going to lose, but I think... Do we trust it? Do we trust? Do we trust the RNG gods? No, I think we mulligan. God dang it. Okay. Um, Omen of the Hunt is good. I'm gonna keep that. Uh, I, I gotta keep five. So we will put. Um, we'll put Act of Light of Affliction back. And sadly, I feel like we have to. No, we don't have to put Nightmare Shepherd back. We'll put Soul Reaper Mogus back. And then we'll do that. So we need green in order to play Omen of the Hunt, but Omen of the Hunt is so helpful um, in terms of getting the mana that we're lacking. Uh, so I think it's worth playing, or worth keeping. 
putting the other two on the bottom, unfortunately. Sick, 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 sick. Of course, the first land we draw won't be a forest. I mean, I did get fairly lucky in the last two games. Oh, there we go. Um, we'll go ahead and play Dawn Evangel. Um, I think I'd rather just play that and trust. I So I could have gone Omen of, the, Omen of the Hunt, grabbed a swamp, and then been able to play, uh, whatchamacallit? Ooh, Heliod's Pilgrim would be nice to have in this deck, but we didn't see any of those. That's really good. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do that. An attack for two. I'm guessing they'll they'll have a way to bounce. Oh wait, or they'll just they play that onto this bad boy. Okay. That's a bummer. A bit of a bummer. Uh, so next turn, they will almost certainly just exile my Nightmare Shepherd with this ability. Which makes me regret playing that when I did. Yeah, because I have no way of getting it back anymore. And I did not have removal for enchantment removal. So, yikes. Dreadful apathy. Take action. We're actually going to get a, a forest so that if we draw Nyx Bloom Ancient, we can play it. <laughs> mm. Yeah, Nessian Wardens ain't bad. Um, yeah, we'll keep attacking slowly, slowly poking them down. <clears throat> and Nessian Wardens. Mm. Okay. okay, we'll in turn bluff, uh, bluff the planes. And we can sacrifice Omen of the Hunt. I feel like they, they have five, no, six cards in hand and a lot of mana to spend, so that's something. Oh, Library separates them to face down pile and a face up pile. Great. So we gotta make choices. Okay. Looks at the top three cards of your library, separates them to a face down pile and a face up pile. Put one pile into your hand and the other into your graveyard. So here's the thing. I think I can potentially trick them. The top pile will be face down. I think I can trick them like this. <laughs> I want them to take all the islands, so we're going to do that and see what they decide. Yes, yes it worked! They took the islands! <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That's a bummer. Yeah. Nice. Good job, me. We'll go ahead and do this. Scry 2. Fix our draws for the next turn. Don't need a forest, but we would like Aspect of Lamprey. For show. So I'm assuming now they just discard those islands. Yep, there go both of them. <laughs> um, I think... So I'm going to attack with Dawn Evangel. I feel like if I attack with Dawn Evangel, they block with Atris, which is kind of okay, though. And if they don't, they don't, and that's also fine. Yeah, I figured this was the block that they were going to make. So... Oh, yikes. That's a yikes. Dang. Uh. Okay. And we also didn't get a trigger off of Dawn Evangel's uh, passive. Oof. Oof! What is this? What is this? I am proud of my comrades. 
think we in trouble. Yep, they exiled Judge for Apathy. No, they did not. I think we lose this one too. That's a yikes, 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 yikes. They just have a lot more power on the board. Like so, so many more things they can do. Yep. Yep, yep, we're done. Uh, I'm gonna see what we draw next turn, but I'm pretty sure we're done. If we block there, uh, we lose our, our only way to gain life right now. So we take the damage. <clears throat> Oh lordy. Lordy lordy lordy. Okay. Let's see what we get. If we get something good here, that's nice. If we don't, eh, then yeah. Okay. That's a good game. We're done though. He... Not a great showing there, but uh we will uh we'll we'll move on. We'll bounce back. Um I wanna see if there are any potential changes that I think we need to make. Um The only, like, the only issue I feel like we have is that we don't, we have essentially two two-drop creatures, and that feels just, that kind of feels, feels bad, honestly. Maybe there's like a a way to kind of bump our curve up a little bit and run Satessan Skirmishers over over like Soul Reaper and Mogus and Nyx Lotus. Though I did like Nyx Lotus a lot the one time we played it. Honestly, I feel like we could do without Nyx Blue Mansion. It hasn't really helped us, except for being like a late game decent sized body. But it's just, it's not that good in terms of like a closer because we don't need the mana so we're gonna cut that go test and skirmisher um yeah like honestly nixborn colossus is almost better than nixblum ancient in this scenario um i could potentially be okay with running 42 cards since we will be trying to uh potentially exile some stuff to escape um mystic repeal feels pretty good though <laughs> potentially over nyx lotus though I, I still say i like nyx lotus um not sure i love binding of the titans it has its some uses, but it. I guess it does do a couple of things. It gains us life, potentially exiles important stuff from their graveyard, and can move stuff back, like removes or uh, do recursion for us. So uh, that's kind of important. But I also don't. I'd rather play um, Return to Nature for sure over Mystic Repeal. So I think we just run 42 um do like this do it like this mm. My eye. okay well we start with uh test and skirmisher two of them to be exact Ooh, moss viper that's mean bro Yeah, we'll go ahead and just play this test and skirmisher. Uh, ha, 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 ha. 
So this is like a decent curve, except if we attack with Satessin Skirmisher, it just dies to Moss Viper. So I, I don't know. I don't know what to do about that. There's not a way to kill it. Like we we just don't have a way to get rid of that except for five mana removal spell, uh, which feels bad. Um, we're gonna do Omen of the Hunt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take action. I think we're gonna want another white source. And then I'm gonna attack. I know they're gonna block um, with that, but that's I'm pretty okay with that. I'd rather get it out of the way now so that we can like make room for more future attacks with Test and Skirmisher because this is going to get bigger. Like The plays are going to get bigger because we have a lot of enchantments right now. We'll just go, yeah, we'll go Soul Reaper of Mogus. I know I don't get the buff damage from Test and Skirmisher, but that is fine. <laughs> I guess I could have just wait it instead of playing Soul Reaper Mogus right there. I could have waited and just sacked Omen of the Hunt instead of that. More Briar Blessing could be pretty important. Um, okay. Oh, that's nice. Here's what we're going to do we're going to go Wolf Willow Haven, um, play it on a Swamp. Then we're going to. Tap that and go Warbriar Blessing onto Satessin Skirmisher. Did I just do that out of order? I thought I put it in the right order. I'm going to be really mad if he doesn't get buffed before this activates. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, just making sure. That scared the heck out of me. I thought I did that wrong. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Well, we did two damage. Yay. And we killed their, we killed their big creature. Big-ish creature. Whenever you sacrifice permanent, put a pulse on plus one counter on Blood Aspirant. Sacrifice creature on Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, I think we go ahead and go Siona here. Takes a test in training. Puts a test in training on uh, Soul Reaper. Yeah, baby. Then we can go off. We can go off. Okay, this this version of the deck feels much better. I know I didn't make crazy changes, but just moving the curve up enough to have smaller creatures where we can get a lot of damage in early. It, like at least get significant damage in early put pressure on the opponent it feels good create a 1-1 one, one red satyr creature token with this creature here. block whenever you cast a spell that targets here the rebel creature control Ooh, interesting very interesting I think I'd just play Archon of Falling Stars here, and then play that, and then pass my turn. I could have played Aspect of Lamprey, but I don't have a good target for it right now. Like, Soul Reaper Mogus is okay as a target, but I think Archon of Falling Stars is better. Oh, that's good. That's really good. How are you playing Seder? Like, oh my god. Seder, whatever, uh, in Limited. Okay. This creature can't block. We block you, we we'll block you. Yeah, I don't know why they attacked with those tokens. Um, unless they have a way to deal damage. Listen, come here. Nope, they don't. That's interesting. <laughs> okay, so I will put um ah, uh, they only have one card to discard. I'm gonna do this anyways. I'm gonna put that on Archon of Falling Stars. A lot of stuff happens. They discard a card. Ooh, Voracious Typhon. Why did that tap my other forest? I wanted that forest. 
Lame. Okay. Ooh, the double block. Yeah, we'll kill both of those. I'm cool with that. We deal four damage over the head and gain four life. If they keep attacking, if they attack with Heroes of the Revel, honestly, I think I just don't block. Attack three more creatures. You may discard a card at random if you do draw two cards. That's, that's really good, right? That's really good. Yeah, so of course they're playing that before I can exile their cards. We don't like that, but we do have a win con right now. We have to keep Archon of Falling Stars alive and attacking it in the air. Why? Why? Why are you doing that? Why are you doing this thing that you're doing? They're being very aggressive with the attacks. They don't have a card to discard. I'm not real sure why they did that. Um, so we will exile Loathsome Chimera and that so they can't play those escape spells. We gain one life. Go to combat, attack over the head. They don't have a way to block. <laughs> In turn. So on their turn, I can block with the token and sacrifice it to draw me a card. Yeah. That's alright with me. And they concede. There we go. We got another win. Another win. We three and two right now? Three and two, is that right? Yes, three wins, two losses, not too shabby so far. All right, let's try to get four so we went, go over 500 for sure. Uh, we lock in an over 500 uh, record for this uh, event. This is my, this is actually my first um, Theros limited event. So that's interesting. Interesting little tidbit there. Uh, so yeah, I wasn't, uh, I'm, I feel, I did not feel confident when putting this deck together. I did not feel confident in like, oh, these are the best cards in this. blah de blah de blah Uh, oof. We'll mulligan that. That's much better, much better. We can discard or put a swamp on the bottom. And there's a Moss Viper again to ruin our day. I will do that. We'll go planes. I'm hoping to uh, draw Siona or something here. Something nice. Something nice. Ooh, I don't like Loathsome Chimera. Well, Don Evangel works. It, it's a bit scary. I might it might get killed here. I'm trying to think. If they attack with Loathsome Chimera, do I block with Don Evangel? I can get plus one plus zero. I can escape though. I don't think I can. Yeah, we'll we'll take that block right now. Uh, reduce the damage we take. What is this? Unknown shores. Evan. Okay. Interesting. Nyx Herald. This is where we go Echo out of Affliction, possibly returning Don Evangel to our hand. Nope, we're going to put Siona back in our hand, because she's just better. Just better. Oof. Oof. Why is that considered an enchanted creature? Oh, wait, oh, target enchanted creature or enchantment creature. So no blocks for now. That hurts. That hurts a lot. Um, but we can do this. Ugh. Speaking of hurting, that uh, that hurt me. Okay. Dang. Nyx Herald is going to be a problem. That's going to be a problem. Mm. 
We don't have a way to get rid of it right now. I think I don't attack because I just I need to focus on staying alive rather than putting on pressure, but I think they just attack with Nyx Herald and punish me. I think I do that. I make that trade, unfortunately. Ugh. I'm glad it's going well for you, opponent. Ugh. Not great. Uh, but could potentially gain us some life. But I think they're going to be able to escape it next turn. Yeah, I think we're donezo. I think we're donezo. Hmm. I'm going to take three damage for now because I don't have a way. Like, I just lose stuff to Nyx Herald, and I can't really take that right now. Which is unfortunate because I think they just get Loathsome Chimera back right here before I can exile it. And that feels bad for sure. There it is, the Loadsome Chimera. That's a, that is an ugly beast, bro. Exile my own creature and another of my own creatures. Just to gain some life. <laughs> I'll go Nightmare Shepherd. Warbriar Blessing. I'll target you. Combat Nyx Herald um, gets that out of the way. We're still in this game, baby. We're still in the game. Okay, if Loathsome Chimera attacks, I think we probably need to trade with Siona. Um, and if we do make that trade, I can get a uh, Siona token back uh, with Nightmare Shepherd's ability, which is nice, but I'm a little bit scared they're going to have removal for uh, Nightmare Shepherd before that happens. Okay, this is scary. How are they going to do this? I feel like it looks like they've got a combat trick, right? Like they must have something. That's what they have. And we lose. And we lose now. Because we got to do that, and then we got to do that. I guess we don't we don't necessarily lose now. I do get to return a creature from my graveyard to my hand, which I will return. Oh no! Ah, it exiled. Okay, I'll return Siona. That's fine. Um, this is the part where I play Archon of Falling Stars and a Forest. Okay, we can do this. We can, we can stay in the game. It looks. Oh, do they have? Oh, they can return Loathsome Chimera again. That's a bummer. Um, the good news is, if they attack with Loathsome Chimera at some point, I can just return um, Dawn Evangel or Satessan Training from the graveyard, probably onto Siona next turn, which will be nice, of course. Oh, I would love to have an Aspect of Lamprey right now. Uh, please draw Aspect of Lamprey. Fingers crossed. Oh, oh my gosh. What? I gotta discard Tyona. She's much less important to me right now than Archon is. Archon gets me stuff back, which is obviously great. Idyllic Tutor. What's in the deck? Oh, Aspect of Lamprey. Um, which I can play, but I want to 
Well, I'm gonna have to play. I'm gonna have to tap you down. So I'm gonna go boop, 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 just like so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's worth it, I think. Um, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Are they gonna be able to get that? They're not gonna be able to get Kroxa back because I'm gonna make them discard. <sighs> Hopefully, this works. Okay. We go aspect of lamprey what cancel yeah okay whatever put it on archon i'm attacking i know they can block with chain web arachnir that's fine um but okay they do which is actually kind of surprising uh, puts another thing in the graveyard for them to exile with <laughs> But I gained four life, which was the most important thing. And they can bring back Croxa. They literally, I made them discard and they just top decked exactly what they needed. Wait, oh, why? Weird. Could they? Well, that's pretty lame. Oh, that's okay. I, I understand now why they did that. Um, 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 um. Aspect of Lamprey does me no good right now. Binding of the Titans does for sure. Uh, because I get to exile stuff that I don't want them to have. Yep, get out of here, chumps. Yep, I gained two life. No, 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 undo. Why, why did you tap that? Oh, I need, I had to tap it, I had to tap it, cause it was, uh, it's double white. I'm dumb. Oh, ah. Yes, we take that damage for now. What's in my deck that I want? I think I go for Archon here. The thing is, I can keep on cycling Archons, right? I've got to hold up both of them as blockers, um, or I'll lose my Satessin Skirmisher. There are a lot of ways this could go wrong, but a lot of ways it could go okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> dang it no oh they just took that option away from me shoot that's horrible wow cling to dust is a great card ah hmm so they can do that again right they have to exile five other cards which is they have five other cards so they could exile, if they wanted to, they could exile Aspect of Lamprey. Interesting. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do this um, to thin my deck. Oh, dumb. Dumb, 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 dumb. I should have waited and used that as a combat trick for Satessin Skirmisher. But since I'm dumb, I, I didn't, so if you're wondering. Yeah. Okay, cool, 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 cool. We pass. If they have a way to exile, enchant creature at the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice a creature. Fair enough. Let's sack this, scry two, see what we see what we got on top that we maybe want and maybe don't. Do I I don't even want that. I don't even want that. No. Nyx Lotus has been kind of bad, I think.
They could exile that at instant speed. Which I think they might be considering doing? Yeah. So they exile pretty much their whole graveyard to get rid of that card, so that's awesome. That's wonderful. Okay. Right now I can pass. Um because I'm not gonna attack with Archon of Falling Stars yet. But if they play a bigger threat than Chain Web Arachnir, I can exile it. I can exile also exile Chain Web Arachnir so I can start attacking again. But once I start attacking, I no longer have a blocker for Hyrax Tower Scout. Whew. Okay. Come on, mate. That's not cool. <laughs> yeah, that's the least useful creature I have right now. <laughs> mm, no attacks again. Nessie and Water, whenever an enchantment is about to control. That's fine. Resolve. They'll go to the end step. Final death. Final death. Sick. A land we will pass. I don't know what else to do right now. I don't think I have a card in here that will win me the game, unfortunately. I feel like I'm, I'm out of gas. Um, pretty confident that I'm out of gas. Ooh, that's gas. So we can play Soul Reaper of Mogus. This gets buffed. So now I can attack with Satess and Skirmisher because I have something to do. Your damage, I deal damage. I will in turn. Hmm. How many cards do they have left? They have eight cards left. I have eight cards left. So um technically I mill out first. If this if it comes to that, I will mill out first. Um yeah, I'm gonna pass. Play that and then pass unfortunately yeah pretty sure we're just drawing lands at this point uh go to my turn jensen and envoy is nice that allows me to now attack with satessa skirmisher get in some cheeky little cheeky little damage in my turn. Also, why did you tap? Why did you tap the way you did? That makes no sense. That makes zero sense at all, game. Uh, okay. So they're thinning their deck of lands, um, which means they will now be milling out before me. If there's lands left in their deck, which is there? Are there? No basic lands left. Surely not. <laughs> okay. Um. If I draw um, Rise to Glory, I think is what it's called, um, we're gonna be great. We're gonna be great. So they're scrying. They have six cards left, so like, 
if they put them on the bottom, one top, one bottom. So they found what they wanted, which is frightening, super frightening. Um, <laughs> uh, Warbriar Blessing. Okay. It gets to fight a creature, so I will sacrifice that creature. <laughs> Get Mox's favor, which is good, of course. Resolve that. Pass to attackers. Go to my turn. Rise to glory. Return target aura card from your graveyard to the battlefield or target creature card. So is there an aura that I want? Uh, Omen of the Hunt is not an aura. I think they exiled a bunch of my auras. Warbriar Blessing. Satessan Training. Um... I think I'm so I think I do this and I just get Archana Falling Stars. Oh, I, I can choose both. Oh, that's great. Okay, so we go uh, Archon and then we'll go Warbriar Blessing. Um, attach it to you. Yes, so this will be a 3 4 when it fights. We'll have it fight that. Homie right there. We'll put that on Archon of Falling Stars. Attack. And... Yeah, that's it. Okay, we've got them on a clock. So next turn we win if they d can't interact with us at all. Um, there's also some cases where even if they do interact with our board, we can still win. That sucks a lot. Um, We'll take that, um, yes, take action. We'll attach it to the other Archon. We draw another card, we draw two cards, which is fine. Um, that means we still, we just have to win next turn, which I think we can do a number of ways. This, is a, this has been a crazy game. What a long game, what a long, long game. Um, getting worn out, okay. We go. Farika's Libation. Force him to sack Hyrax Tower Scout. If they kill, if they have a way to kill Archon of Falling Stars, we're done. But um, I think we just attack all and oh no we don't win because they can cling to dust and exile a creature card and gain three life and then we lose oh my gosh oh that's terrible um Dang. Dang. I did not think of that. Wow. I could have won if I had done Mogus' favor first. I could have won, too. I misplayed. I did not think that they could cling to dust and gain life. I thought... So my thought was if I... If I use Mogus' favor's escape ability, they're going to exile Mogus' favor... Oh my gosh. How crazy.
Yeah, I'll just go ahead and concede. That was insane. I could have I could have won. Dang it. Shoot. Um because yeah, Mogus's favor would have given me two damage of its in it in it, of itself. And then um, the plus one it gave to to Tess and Skirmisher, and I would have won the game. It's very, very slight misplay that ruined that game for me. Dang, dude. Well, uh, if you're still here, thanks for sticking around. I'm going to open these packs now and then be done with this video. That was a decent, decent first uh, thing, first um, limited Theros play for me. So... Rise to glory. Hey, we've seen you. We've seen all these cards. Erebos' Intervention. Sorry, Permogus. This is basically my deck from last game. Oh, well. Um, <laughs> Enemy of Enlightenment, you say? Slaughter Priest of Mogus. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Enigmatic Incarnation. Very cool. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this uh, this video. It was a long one. Um, I hope you were able to skip around the video and see the stuff you wanted to see. And I hope you, as always, as always, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. It's been real. Peace.